Hello everyone, it's Anna from Anna's Paper Creations and today I'm going to show you how you can make these uh, pages and the binding and uh, also a bit of the cover. So we will start with... Um, I will show you on some lighter papers. I used black paper but it's a bit difficult to show up so I use this orange paper. So you're going to start with a 12 by 12 paper and you're going to score it at 6 inches, like so. And you flip it around and you score it at 2 inches, like so, all the way down. So I'm going to take this away a bit. And uh, if you see these lines here, it's where we're going to cut it. And uh, it depends uh, on what uh, what uh, side you want uh, the pocket to be. So if you want to be have it on the left side, then you cut it out on this side, and the opposite on the other side if you want to have it on the right. So we are going to cut it here in the strip lights, and uh, I also will um, post a picture of uh, all this on my blog if you want to have the measurements or see it more close up. And as you see the scoring line is here but I cut it a bit above here because if uh, we fold this pocket o uh, over on the other side it will uh, be a bit bulky so we will make it a bit shorter maybe uh, one eighth of an inch or so. Here. and then we snip this piece off like so and like so and then we have an hinge here on this side here so then we can start folding it and as you see here uh, this we are going to use for uh, some hinges so we can use uh, leftovers also. So we fold this over like so. We try to line it up. And this will be fold over like so and like so. And as you see we miss a hinge here, so we are going to create it of this here. I will cut two strips of three quarters of an inch of this paper here. same time as I had my cutting board here. We are going to cut it at 4 inch, one of them. Like so. And this we are going to cut at 2 inch. Let's right, so take it a bit smaller. Like so. You can cut one more strip of this for two inch for the next page if you want. So we are going to fold this and this. And I just like to round the corners a bit. Now we are going to do find on here. Now 
like so. And the four inch we are going to glue on the top here, on the inside. like so. And now for the binding. I've used uh, thread to bind uh, this album and uh, I used uh, this uh, thread here. It's uh, for buttons, to sew buttons so it's strong. But you can use some... Uh, I also tried with dentist thread. That's also very strong. But it was white and I needed black. So, uh, But you can use any type of strong um, strong um, thread. Um, I will use some um, uh, tape so it won't tear. So I will put this all the way. In the middle here where the score line is. We can take the thread on and you take the double length and a bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, I also take some tape on here so it won't uh, slide up and down. See where the score line is? About here, I think. I also take one in the middle. And uh, I will be sure to straighten this out before I close it, like so. And now it's uh, ready to glue together, so we will glue this flap first. We'll take some glue on the flap here, on the spine. And as you see now this can fold easy over because we cut it a bit shorter here. So we are going to glue them on. Like so. And now we have created a pocket. And uh, if you want you can take the paper on first, but it's uh, easy to slide in the paper because of the spines here. So you can slide it inside when you embellish it. Should I take my clamps out so this will glue properly? But didn't work. One more time. So, and while I'm holding this, I can show you the measurements for the inserts. And for the top insert, you're gonna cut one uh, strip of uh, five and three quarters by ten inch, and also one. If I can find it here. <laughs> at the five and three quarters by ten and a half inch and that one you're going to score at ten and at ten and an eighth of an inch 
and you're also going to snip off a bit of the ends here. So we're going to do that just around the corners a bit like so. So we're going to fold in the first score line and in the second score line. That way you can um, embellish a bit so it, yeah, you see here. So now we are going to glue this one on here. So when you glue them, be sure to glue it to the first score line here. I can show you on the other side here to the first score line. So we are going to take some glue on here. all the way here. It's really large this. We try to line it up. Like so. And now we have created the first insert. And uh, you can also put on a tab here. It's more easy to do that before you take your papers on. And for my album I uh, went ju just down one eighth of an inch for the papers. All the way around. So that will mean you are going to assemble the paper by uh, five and um, uh, Five eighths of an inch by nine and seven eighths of an inch, like so. So now this is ready to put inside, like so. Here, and we are going to make the side flap here. And this is cut by five and seven eight, and no, yeah, five and seven eight by eleven and seven eight, and you're going to score it at five and seven eight and six inches. And we're going to fold that. You don't have to score this so hard. It's I think it's better not to score this so hard. So like so. So that will be the next insert. And uh, you can put on a little tab here as well. And this uh, tabs here are from uh, Stamping Up. The one I used in my previous album, it was um, from Tim Holt's die. And uh, the Tim Holt's die has a window so you can put in paper but uh, you can use this uh, use, or make it from this also just cut a little strip of uh, paper oops <laughs> and you can write something on here and uh, glue it down here Like so. So now this is ready to go inside on the side here. Like so. So you can have it like this, or you can have it like this, or put it on the other side if you like to. So that is how the page is made. So now the page is uh, finished and uh, we are going to make the cover and uh, put it on. So we will start with this is uh, Chippewa 10 by 2.5 and, and you also need two uh, Chippewa 10.5 by 6.5. So 
so we'll put this together. And the, the measurements for um, the binding here or the hinges are um, 2 by 10 and I scored it uh, at 1 inch and this is the TVEC uh, envelopes, strong L envelopes and I've put it uh, through my Exeron uh, I think that's really great but uh, you can use any glue to glue, glue it down so. Spine here. Let's see if I can get it straight on here. Like so. I'm so going to take on the other one. wrong way, this way. <laughs> so, I try to line it up in the score line. Like so. Now I can take this up. Oh, <laughs> we line it up. Because I have some taps on, taps on the top, I go a little bit down like so and glue it down and then now for the back cover take your ruler to see if it's straight here Just eyeball it, but uh, I think I do that. <laughs> More easy for me. Like so. And um, in my album I have um, some papers in the middle here as well. If you can see that. So we'll put that on before we uh, bind the page. <coughs> but uh, it would be better to um, to paint this first black if you are using black shipboard or black. Yeah. So I just go on to glue this a bit on here. Try to line it up. So, and um, for the back side here, I can show you it's another piece of uh, shipboard here. It's ten and a half by two and a half, and uh, that is going to go on this side. But first, we are going to glue on some spines here. And I will show you with this. Um, um, it's. Uh, three quarters by uh, ten and a half and it's score at three and um, three eighths of an inch so we also can snap off a bit of these corners here just will glue this a bit down because I'm not going to use this color just for showing you. So like so. 
все. Now I'm going to put the black one on the other side. glasses up again so I'm sure I can line it up here. Like so. And then uh, this piece here you're going to glue on the top here when you're finished putting in the page. Pages. But um, uh, the way it's created, it's open here, so you can always add more pages later or take out if you want. So this uh, ribbon here, I took in after it was uh, finished, and the way you can use do it is uh, just glue it on, and uh, it will go through here or a long needle or something. So now we are going to um, bind the page on here. We can take this out. So. And also this uh, hinges here, uh, they help from um, that uh, thread won't slide uh, out of here. So maybe took the thread a bit short here. And take it really hard on here and create some knots here. really strong. So as you see now you can slide this as you like to and like so. And now I can show you on one side here and glue on this uh, back spine here. for a while so it can glue properly but uh, I will show you how it works like so. So I won't glue this down because this one I'm going to change. So then you have an opening back here and uh, when you are going to um, um, yeah um, you're going to also uh, make a spine here from the envelopes or paper or what you like and glue this on like so. So you cover up this. Hope you see that. So I hope this uh, was helpful and that you will try to make one yourself. This uh, was really fun to make and it's uh, a place for a lot of uh, photos in this album. So and here you can use a pocket so you can put some inserts and what you like. So I can put it inside again, show you. And this is a flap you also can take on this side if you like to. Like so, and you can put it inside here. Like so. 
and then you can take the other one on the other side. So it's a lot of possibilities to uh, create what you like to. So thank you so much for watching again and uh, I really appreciate uh, all your comments and uh, kind words to me. It, uh, it means a lot to me. So thank you so much and wish you all a great and happy day. Bye bye.